Technology is meant to make our lives easier and more convenient, but for all the help the lithium ion battery provides, it can be very dangerous on an airplane. And that has the FAA talking about another ban, this time on laptops in checked luggage. Local 4 Business Editor Rod Maloney is live out at Metro Airport with a look at the problem. Rod? Yeah, Kimberly, you know, you understand this as well as anybody. I mean, most of us who have and use a laptop really can't do without them, and they go where we go. Except now, it's likely that you will not be able to put this in a check bag in the undercarriage of a plane if the FAA has anything to say about it. If this burning suitcase doesn't get a frequent flyer's attention, nothing will. We're not talking terrorism here, it's safety, pure and simple. This video is from the FAA test center where they placed a laptop near toiletries and the aerosol spray can blew up. It's the lithium ion battery at the center of the problem and it's brought down a couple of UPS jets and also a jet blue plane in Grand Rapids just this past May. Out at Metro Airport, this was not news to network engineer Gil Mayron. The luggage claim isn't pressurized and the chemicals that make up the battery can become unstable. Lithium ion batteries especially shouldn't be put in, uh, in the, under, the um, undercarriage of the plane. Automotive salesperson Kalinda Chapel wouldn't dream of checking a laptop, but for a different reason. Just because the way the bags are thrown around, you know, in the plane, you always carry the laptop, in, you know, with you. Still, the new rules will likely make an already difficult task even more so. It's just one more thing to remember before you leave in the the morning or the, whenever you're going out for your flight. But considering what's happened and could happen to your plane, Lisa Brush says it's all really learning curve. It's just like when we first got cell phones and we, you know, are we not allowed to drive with cell phones? Are we not allowed to text as we drive? Are we not allowed to, you know, mm -hmm. and so we're making sense of it and yeah, hopefully, yeah. hopefully we're prototyping and learning about it. Now, this ban is really only a proposal right now, but the FAA is talking to an international flight agency to try and come up with a global ban and do it very quickly. Kimberly, back to you. And Rod, what more can you tell us about that Grand Rapids flight? Well, it was, it was May 31st. They were flying from New York to San Francisco. They were 35,000 feet, and it was a, a phone. Uh, actually, it was a, a battery on a charger in a carry-on bag that started smoldering. Flight attendant grabbed that, threw it into a metal trash can, threw it in the bathroom and slammed the door shut. They landed the plane and everybody got away safely, but it certainly did get everybody's attention. All right, we'll see how this uh, proposal all shakes out. Rod, we appreciate it.